Today I'm doing a really quick and easy get ready with me. I've already filmed a video about the foundation. It's a new foundation that I recently got to try and it's by Guerlain. It is their Essential Natural Glow Foundation and I'm wearing it in the shade Light. So if you're interested in more information about this foundation, be on the lookout for the video that I just filmed. I'm trying to do four videos today, so I'm kind of staggering things, but uh, be on the lookout for that if you want more information. Overall, I did like it and uh, I go into more in-depth review. So just to tell you what I have on my face, I did one pump of the Hourglass Veil Primer. Then I put on the Guerlain Essential Foundation on the right side of my face i applied it with a beauty blender and on the other side with the flat um, foundation brush so if you want to see which application method that i preferred you can go ahead and watch that video and then i set everything using the hourglass um, veil powder using my favorite brush for powder it is the it ball wand so now we're going to continue on with the rest of this look. I'm going to use the Charlotte Tilbury Bronzing Glow Palette. And I'm going to use the ball wand brush again, put it in the bronzer. And I'm just going to do a little bit of sculpting on my cheekbones. And then I'm just gonna do a, um, a three, and then a backwards three. And then I always just take it down the neck a bit because you just want to uh, blend in everything at the jawline. And then for blush today, I'm using the It by the Pores Blush, and I believe this is in Sweet Cheeks. And I'm gonna use my Tom Ford cheek brush. And I always go up beside the eye, kind of make like an apostrophe because I have a round face. I just find that um, it just helps to slenderize it. And then I'm just gonna take that powder brush and just uh, blend everything so it looks nice and natural. Okay, so now for the eyes. Uh, if you watched my video last week, I couldn't find my Charlotte Tilbury favorite brush, the eye sponge brush. I found it, yay! Uh, today, I'm gonna use the Too Faced Natural Matte Palette. I really like just going straight across the middle line. It really makes a pretty look. So I'm just using a flat foundation brush and I'm dipping it into the lightest shade. And I'm just gonna pack it all over the uh, eyelid and up into the crease. And then just dab a little bit in the tear duct. And then we'll repeat and do that on my left eye. I love this palette, it is so pretty. I was watching back my um, video from last week where I had used it and I really like the eye look that uh, I created. And on my eyelids I, um, I just took my beauty blender and used whatever foundation was left on it and used that as my um, my primer for my eyelids. Okay, so now I'm gonna go into the second one, which is called Cleavage. I'm putting it on a crease brush and just gonna go back and forth. Like a windshield wiper. Right in the crease, like where, where your eye socket bone is. And that's just gonna give it a little bit of dimension. Eye. 
So I'm doing four makeup videos today. Um, I did get the Blonde It Cosmetics Eyebrow Gel. So I'm doing a comparison video of that. So now I'm gonna use my eye smudge brush. I'm going into the darkest shade in the second row. It's called Risky Biz. This brush really picks up the color, so you wanna use a light hand. And what I'm doing is I'm just going to tap it, make like a V, um, like up on the outer corner. I'm just tapping it in. I know it looks really dark, but don't worry about it. I'm gonna fix that. I love this brush because I have small eyes and it's perfect for getting in the corner like that. So then I'm gonna go back with my uh, crease brush and I'm just going to swirl it around, always going upwards just to blend it in. If you find that's a bit too dark for you, just keep blending. You can always uh, blend it out, make it a little less noticeable. But I think that's about right. So then we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna do the same with this eye. Oh my gosh, there's so much construction going on in this road, it's unbelievable. It's like living in the middle of a construction zone. Well, I guess we are. And then, Taking that blending brush and blending. I still find that a bit dark. I'm just concentrating on that one area to blend it down. So that looks about right. So then I'm taking the same smudge brush, I'm using it as my eyeliner today. With a light hand, just tapping it in there, and then I'm going underneath the eye. Doesn't that make a beautiful eyeliner? I love this brush. So I'm connecting it to the outer uh, corner of my eye. And I'm not going all the way into the corner because that would close the eye up too much. You don't have to do this step, but I like to do it because I have um, blue eyes, it makes them pop, but also I wear glasses all the time, so it really helps to make my eyes pop. But if you're not comfortable doing this part, I mean, you don't have to. And I'm not doing any eyeliner on top. That's just how I like to do my eye makeup. And same thing on this side. I'm not going all the way in to the corner. And then I'm just gonna like, just do a little bit of blending in the corner to make everything even. So now I'm going to take whatever's left on the Beauty Blender and I'm not going up into the eye line, but I'm just kind of cleaning underneath. And that is that. So now I'm gonna go and do my other video where I am doing a review on the Wander Beauty mascara. So I will come back and uh, be sure to be on the lookout for this video. So I'll go ahead, I dipped it in the um, container again, and I'll go ahead and do this side. And that's with one coat. So we'll dip it back in. I love how it separates the lashes and it doesn't clump together, which some mascaras do on me. Putting it back in again. Sign. 
and there we have it. That's two coats. I finally got my other It Cosmetics brow gel yesterday and I ordered it in blonde. I told you last week whenever I demoed the Universal Taupe that I wasn't completely sold on the color because I found it was a little too dark. So I went ahead, I bought the blonde and we're going to compare them. I'm gonna do one brow in each color and then we're gonna decide which is the best shade for me. I think we'll put the taupe on my left eye. So you can see uh, it really makes my eye pop. Okay, well right out of the gate. <laughs> I really don't notice that big of a difference, honestly. However, my preference is the blonde just because it is a better match to the eyebrow hair that I do have. I don't know if it can show on camera, but it's just softer. It's not as bold as this color. Anyways, I thought that was a fun experiment that uh, we could do. Actually, I'm going to finish. I'm filming. I'm in the middle of filming a Get Ready With Me. I, um, I tried out a new foundation today you might be interested in. It's by Guerlain. And I also did a review on the Wander Beauty Mascara. So I'm doing four videos within one Get Ready With Me. So I'm just trying to keep my head straight with everything that I got to do. But now I'm just going to go over the uh, taupe eyebrow just to tone it down a little bit with the blonde. So that way I don't have to wash my eyebrows off and fix my makeup there. I think I need to get my eyebrows waxed, but I don't know if any of the places around here are waxing. I like a brow mascara, but my favorite all-time brow product is the Cosmetics Universal Brow Pencil. Okay, I'm back. So I filmed three other videos within this one look and off camera, well, in the other videos, I did a review and I demoed how to use the Wonder Beauty Volume and Curl Mascara. And I also did my brows using the It Cosmetics Brow Power Filler Set It with my Urban Dec Decay All Nighter Setting Spray. You know I love to finish a Get Ready With Me with perfume. Today is joy. I hope that you are having a joy-filled day. And I'm gonna top it off with a lip gloss by Marc Jacobs. And I cannot read something mauve. Mauve time maybe? I'll link it below. So that is the finished look. It's really quick and it's easy and I tried out three new products for you. So if you want to uh, see those individual product reviews, be on the lookout for them. Make sure that you click the subscribe button so you don't miss anything. And I have one more video that I'm going to be filming and it is a Louis Vuitton video. I'm so excited to share with you. So I hope that uh, you enjoyed this video. I'll see you real soon. Take care, stay safe. Have a great day. Bye.